Twifter, let's swipe right for skills. We're going to implement the UI page control, the little dots that show which page you are on at the bottom of our UI page view controller. We're going to learn to add a UI page control to the toolbar. We'll set the colors for the dots. We'll update the current page dot after the current page has been changed. And we'll move the current page forward or backward if the sides of the page control are tapped using an appropriate forward or backward animation. Let's go. So during this video, we're going to implement a UI page control, commonly referred to as the dots. And we'll put this in the toolbar at the bottom of our view controller. There'll be a dot for each page. Those are the ones in teal, and the current page is in black. Swiping left or right, we'll move the current page dot forward or backward. Clicking on the list and selecting a location will update the current page dot. And tapping on the left or right of the page control will move the page control left or right, updating the dots accordingly. This is how we do this. Using the storyboard, we'll add a UI page control to our location detail view controller's toolbar. And when we do this, Xcode will embed the UI page control in a bar button item, but it'll still work fine. And then after adding the UI page control, we'll also add another flexible bar button item on the other side so that the page control is flanked with both of these and it centers properly. We'll set the attributes for the tint, which is the color for all of the dots except the current page. And we'll set a different color for the dot color of the current page. We'll be sure to stretch out the UI page controller. The response area for the taps is limited by how big the UI page control is. And even though you might see the number of dots grow on screen, this doesn't necessarily grow the target that the user would tap on. So we'll set it as large as we can on the smallest iPhone we'll design for. Now, all the code that we create will be in the location detail view controller. We'll create an IB outlet there. We'll modify update user interface to update the page controls and number of pages and the current page properties. And we'll add an IB action for this page control so that when it's tapped, it will first create a constant that refers back to the UI page view controller as we've done before. And then also as we've done before, it will call the set view controllers method. This is the one that programmatically navigates to a given page. And we used that in the previous video too. And finally, while the IB action that you see here works, it doesn't show the appropriate animation if you click on the left side or right side of the page control. So we'll tackle that in a challenge exercise. So let's build. So start in main storyboard, open the library, search for a page control, you'll see it with the dots, and then just drag this object right in the middle of the two bar button items in the toolbar at the bottom of location detail view controller. And make sure you add it to location detail view controller, not the location list. And open the library again, search for a bar button item, and drag over a flexible space bar button item, and put it on the opposite side of the page control, the one that doesn't currently have a flexible space. And this should center the page control right in the middle. Then I'll click on the page control, grab the resize handle on one side, and drag to stretch out the page control. This will increase the surface area to detect user taps. And then I'll head over to the size inspector and set auto resizing so that the horizontal expansion line in the center of the page control is clicked. Then I'll head back to the Attributes Inspector, and I'll set the page control's tint color to System Teal. That's the same color that I used in the background for the view. And the current page indicator I'll set to black. Now that this is all set up, let's set up an IB outlet and an IB action for the page control. So I'll click on Location Detail View Controller, an option click on Main Storyboard to get into the Assistant Editor. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, Xcode will put the page control inside of a bar button item. So you have to hunt to find it in the document outline, but you can see it just by clicking on the exposure triangle so that it points downward. Then I'll control drag from the page control in the document outline and I'll name this page control, lower camel case, and click connect. Then I'll scroll to the end of my code, and just before the last curly closing the class, I'll control drag from the page control, drop into my code. This is an IB action, and I'm gonna name this page control tapped, and change the type to UI page control, click connect. Then I can get out of assistant editor, back into the standard editor, and I'll scroll up to update user interface where I can modify the page control properties so that those also update every time I need to change the user interface. Now this first property I'm gonna change is page control dot number of pages. That's how many dots are gonna show. And we'll set that to the size of the weather locations array. Now remember, a weather locations array is stored in the page view controller. That's where the source of truth lives. But in the prior video, we used the root view controller technique to create a page view controller constant right here in the update user interface function. So we can just copy this. I'll paste it down here after the equal sign, and then I'll add dot weather locations dot count. And we also want to set the black dot for the current page. So on the next line, we'll say page control dot current page equals, and we'll set that to location index. And that value stored is one of the properties of location detail view controller. Now let's scroll down so that we can code our IB action named page control tapped. 
Now in this function, we'll programmatically jump either forward or back when the user taps on either side of the page control. And we'll do this using the set view controllers function in our page view controller. And we've already used this in the method just above this, the unwind method. So let's go up here and grab the code first to create the page view controller constant that refers back to the page view controller. So I'll highlight this line in my unwind function and just paste it down into page control tapped. And also in the unwind function is a call to page view controller dot set view controllers. And that's exactly the function that we want, but we'll pass a different value for the page to move to. So I'm going to highlight this line, copy it, and let me just hide the navigator pane to give me a little bit more room on screen so you can see clearly. And now I'll paste that line in my page control tap function. And I'll change the four page value from location index to sender dot current page. Now sender is the page control. Remember that's what you clicked on. And dot current page is the page controls property and it's automatically updated by iOS. It's decreased by one or increased by one depending on which side of the page control was tapped. And now we're ready to build and run. And we see we got six dots down below and the first page is highlighted as a black dot. If I continue to click on the right side of the page control, look how I'm advancing through these different pages. And you know what? I'm not super happy with how it works when I click on either side because when I swipe, I get a nice animation effect, but I'm not getting any animation when I click on my page control. So let's change that. So now if we take a look at the set view controller method, we can see that there's an animated parameter, which is a bool, and we'd previously set this to false. So let's go ahead and change that to true. And now also look, there's a direction property and it's currently set to dot forward. Let's take a look at this. How about we option click on this to see if we can find a type? Well, it just says case forward equals zero. That's not very helpful. What if we backspace over this and then type a dot to see other possibilities? Aha, we've got a dot reversed option as well. And we can see that this direction value is of type UI page view controller dot navigation direction. So we sure lock this out. How about a quick challenge? Can you change the direction to dot reverse if the sender dot current page is less than the location index? Here's some hints. First, create a direction variable. You have to declare this variable's type. Remember what we just learned about its type. And we should set the initial direction to forward, but then in a condition, change it to reverse if we're going in the other direction. So give this a try. Pause, give it a shot, and resume. How'd you do? So let's first create a variable called direction. So we'll type var space direction, and then we'll need to declare its type as a UI page view controller navigation direction. So enter colon UI page view controller dot navigation direction. And then we can set this to be initially forward. So we can say equal. And then when we type in dot code completion already knows this is a navigation direction. So it only shows us the available options, one of which is dot forward. So select that and press return. Now we want to switch the direction to dot reverse if the user clicked to the left of the page control. So the page controls dot current page property is what holds the page number we're transitioning to. So that's where we're going. And since we're in an IB action that's going to fire when you click on the page control, we can refer to sender up here as the page control dot current page. So we can say if sender dot current page is less than location index. Now remember location index is the index of the page we're currently looking at. Current page is where we're headed. And then in between the curlies, if this is true, we want to set the direction variable to dot reverse. And we finish by passing our direction variable into the direction parameter of the set view controllers method below. That's it. Let's build and run and see how it looks. So swiper, you're swiping, you get the swipey animations. But if we click on the side of the UI page control, we can see that we are navigating in both directions, the forward and the backward direction. Swifter, you've conquered another skill. UI page control. Nice work. Keep at it.